Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome to another video. Key culture. Our present good. In this frequency problem, find the mirror score of a string. Again, uh, the next problem uh, after this one is already live. You can just go and watch it. It simply says that you are given a string S. Now, we define the mirror of any letter in the English alphabet as its corresponding letter when the alphabet is reversed. Ultimately, the mirror of A is Z, the mirror of Y is B, the mirror of C is X, so on and so forth. You see the pattern, right? A, B, C, D, E, F up till Z. And then if I write the same thing in reverse, let's say Z, X, Y, Z, W and so on and so forth. So, okay, these are the mirrors of each other. That is what the mirror ultimately means. Now, the biggest thing is that initially all the characters in a string S are unmarked, which means untouched. Now, what I have to do I have to start from the left with a score of zero in the very beginning and I can perform this operation. The operation is iterate from the left to right simply ki again the order of iteration is given from index zero to the final index in minus one. Okay, at each index find the closest unmarked index j such that obviously it is not the same index and also the j is lesser than i which means j is j has occurred previously before and also s of j is the mirror of s of i then mark both the indexes and the score which you add will be i minus j ultimately give the corresponding total score in the end first thing first in this how will you figure out mirror easily that is the first thing ultimately if you very easily see that okay i just simply wrote a to z okay d is an element Obviously, I have to find the similar element from the very end, which has the same distance, right? So D from the start has a distance of three, simply D minus A, distance of three. Simply find the element which is from the end having the same distance of three. So Z minus the distance, distance is the same thing which I found above, will be Z minus three is W. So if I have any character, I will find the distance from the beginning. Then I will go and ask Z minus distance. This will give me the character having same distance from the end. And that's ultimately what I require also. So with this, for any character, I can find its corresponding mirror with this specific formula. Okay. Now when this is done, okay, one thing is sorted. Another thing which is very important is that find the closest, find the closest unmarked index j so if we take the example for this a c okay for a i can very easily find what is the mirror by using this formula this formula now for a i realize the mirror is z so i have to make sure that what all occurrences of z i have already i i i already have that's first thing I want to make sure. Now, out of all those occurrences, give me the occurrence, which is the most recent one, which is the most recent one. Again, you can maintain a vector, you can maintain a hash set, you can maintain anything, but ideally it should be ordered. So if you maintain a hash set, you cannot maintain an order. And considering I'm going from left to right, obviously, uh, if I simply maintain a vector also, that will simply work. When I say vector, I mean a simple list also work. Now. If I maintain a corresponding list of Z, okay, it is empty right now. I don't have anything. Okay. For A, yeah, uh, again, for A, I did not have Z, so no score addition. Okay, simply move forward. But as I move forward, I realize that in future when Z will come, I will look for A and for A, I should know its corresponding index. Okay. So for A, I just simply maintain its corresponding index. Okay. Go on to C. If I go on to C, I will look for a X. Do I have X previously? No, I don't. Okay, no addition in score, simply but make sure also that C having index of 1 also added. Now go on to Z. Z, nearest for Z, the mirror image or the mirror character is A. Now out of all A's, any out of all the A's, which means for one A, out of all the indexes of A's, the index which is having the maximum value is the one which will be paired up with Z, which will be paired up with Z, which means from the very extreme I am picking up out of let's say out of all the indexes let's say if it would have indexes 1 0 1 and let's say anything but again less than 2 obviously then I would have put, picked up this specific index which means from the very front 
again you might see okay i am kind of leveraging only the front element and i'm also pushing up from the front thus i can also replace this vector with a stack that's one thing how you can think of but okay a simple vector will also work here now but in this case i only had zero so i will see okay current index is two the top most of or the front most the 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 front most index is zero the score will be again firstly remove it addition in the score will be two minus zero okay and then move on when i say move on make sure to don't update z here no because this is used okay for three i will again look for a but no a no a found which means no index for a found okay move on for x i will look for c yeah i have okay add a four minus one simply this is your two plus three five is your answer if i just give one more example i have a a c z z x for a no z present okay put up a zero for a no z present put up a one right then uh for c no x present put up a two again in score nothing is added so far for z oh yes i have a then i will pick up this specific a so score addition will be three minus one and this is gone again so you have to use a data structure in which you can push element in the front very fast and remove also from the front very fast it can be either a vector or a stack cool in the again right now i'm showing you vector but you can use a stack also in the code i will show you the stack implementation but again you can use a simple vector approach also or when i say vector approach a simple list approach also then okay this is gone i i got an, another z oh i have another four or or another a i'll simply add it four minus zero but again in z i did not add anything because this is used if i would have had one more z let's say let's say one more z then in that case i would have added it okay then i would have added a five for this specific z because i have no a for it because i would have had no a for it for x i have a c i have a c i will six take six minus two and remove it don't add it in your x don't add it and this is your final answer let's see the code it's a very simple straightforward firstly i have a hash map which will take for a specific character give me a again you can take a simple list also a vector also stack also so let's take a simple stack and take it as current in like character indexes then i go to every character from left to right this is the current character this is the distance now to find the mirror go from the backwards with the same distance get the mirror character okay now i have the mirror character with me firstly i will check in my hash map do i have a mirror character if yes then get me the topmost value of the stack which means that the stack should not be empty if the stack is not empty then i know i have some specific index at the top of the stack i will pop that specific index subtract from the current index i will get the current score right i will add in that in the in the total score and i will add, and i will move forward but what if what if i did not had anything for it no worries so for the current character simply push that in the stack what i will do i will check if the stack already has character c okay in the existing stack just simply push i if not make the new stack and then push it to i which means ultimately uh, for character c if the stack or if the hash map is already made with the empty stack push it if it is uh, not made then make a new one and then push it cool ultimately getting the total score because you are using a hash map in which uh, in worst case you can have 26 characters but also the stack also ultimately can go at the size of n the space will be o of n again it is not o of n into 26 don't go into that thing it is simply o of n because cumulatively for all the characters combined the max stack length can go to 26 okay so you can go to n this is the space for us time itself as you can see you are going to every length so it is o of n again this is the corresponding time and space complexity cool yeah it's easy one so yeah bye bye take care